Dear learner, welcome in my lecture of web technology. I am Dr. Asutosh Kumar Bhatt, Associate Professor, School of Computer Science and IT, Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. Today I will discuss about JSP component and tax. The objective of this lecture is to understand different JSP component and tax and also to implement simple loop based program in JSP. In previous lecture, we have discussed about life cycle of JSP page, directory structure of JSP, anatomy of JSP page. So first of all, the JSP tags. So you already know about the different JSP tags. So again, I am discussing these JSP tag. Uh, this first JSP tag that is import class and this is started by percentage at the rate. So when we write at the rate sign, it means we are importing some library. So here you can see at the rate page import java dot util dot star. So utility package we are importing here. Suppose we have to import other directory. Suppose we are doing database connectivity, then we will write percentage at the rate page import equals to java dot sql dot star. So this is page import uh, tag, this is page import di directive and now the second category of JSP tag that is declaration, variable declaration. So it will start by exclamation sign. So you can see here percentage exclamation sign integer age equals to 56. So value 56 will be copied to the age variable. So it is initialized here and declared also here. So age is a integer type. Again you can see next line integer i equals to 0. It is again started by percentage exclamation sign and at the end semicolon and then percentage will be close percentage and greater than sign. In third line you can see this uh, less than sign percentage exclamation sign integer a comma b double c. So you can write two statement in one uh, one you can encapsulate these two lines within uh, one declaration percentage exclamation. So here a and b is declared as well as c also declared as a double type. Now the last line you can see here percentage exclamation circle a equals to new circle means we can de we can declare class object also inside percentage exclamation sign. So this is under declaration. So here A is a object of circle class, circle is a class because after equal sign we have written new circle. So always new operator is used to declare the variable, declare the object of any class and 2.0 is a argument which is passed to the constructor of circle class you know very well in java programming this is uh, the part of java programming so uh, we can use the java program we can use the classes of java program in jsp in this uh, way in this way so these are the two category of jsp tag now see the third category that is percentage sign simple percentage sign the statement which are uh, which are not a category of uh, declaration or which are not a category of uh, this uh, variable declaration as well as this page import. So these statements are simply processing statement. These statements are under this um, percentage sign. So this if statement if password equals equals is a function. So password will be object and password object dot equals function x y z. So we are comparing this xyz string with the password. If password is xyz, then we will move to the uh, if statement under if statement and curly bracket you can see here curly bracket will start the, uh, the further statement of if conditional statement and this is closed again and then we have this HTML statement h1 welcome slash h1. So this welcome will be displayed here by this h1 tag heading one tag and slash h1 you can see here front slash but it is black slash 
and finally we uh, have to close this uh, curly bracket of if statement so this uh, curly bracket is a part of programming so again we will have to start this percentage and uh, will be closed by the percentage so this curly bracket will be encapsulated between the percentage sign less than percentage and percentage greater than because it is a part of programming so that's why we have again uh, encapsulated is, uh, in between percentage sign now see the fourth category of uh, this so output percentage equal so this uh, percentage equal is for output statement so percentage equal age so maybe this age variable will be displayed here uh, and it is closed also percentage then get then sign and finally uh, the second statement of this output percentage equal sign new java dot util dot date so here date is a function this date function is a part of util utility package and this utility package is a part of java package so date when this date function will execute this date function will display the current date and time so uh, directly it will display on the screen of your computer so it is started by the percentage equal sign new java dot util dot date now see the comment comment uh, will start by uh, percentage double slash and between double slash percentage so suppose we have multiple line of comment then we delimit uh, delimited uh, by percentage double slash and double slash percentage so in between you can write the comments so this is the four category of uh, the jsp tags and after that i am coming on this program so we have already discussed about the simple jsp program so to now in this lecture i am showing you some complex program some difficult uh, type of program some looping type of program here you can see the red portion is uh, mentioned here the red page portion which is mentioned here it is part of jsp and rest black portion is a part of uh, this html and finally uh, blue portion also be uh, part of jsp which is for displaying the value displaying the output so here html uh, will start the program then head head inside head we have title calculating the fibonacci number and title is closed and head will be closed so i will not uh, uh, explain in detail this html statement because uh, you know very well uh, how the html tags are used and what is the meaning of each tag of html now we have started this body body bg color equals to navy so when the output will be displayed of, of this uh, program so the background of the screen will be navy and text uh, will be displayed by yellow color so background will be navy color and the text which is display over this background so it will be yellow color and uh, then now see uh, we have mentioned here an integer integer array so fib fibonacci series for fibonacci series we have mentioned here fib array so this array is a integer type array uh, the sign of array uh, is just after int integer integer data type so the data type of jsp are same data type as the data type of java programming language so this is the java statement so it is uh, started and ended here in same line uh, percentage exclamation used because because this is data type declaration then center tag this is the html tag then heading one tag it is also html tag h1 calculating the fibonacci number from 0 to 19 so we are calculating it this is heading h1 and then br means line break and again you can see these uh, programming statement again these programming statement are colored by the red color uh, because these are the jsp statement uh, and rest statement are black colored statement are the html statement so fib array which we have already declared in line number three so here fib equals to new integer 20 it means this array which is uh, in third line we have declared fourth line sorry in fourth line we have declared this fib array so uh, initially it was blank but here uh, we by using this new operator we have assigned uh, this integer variable this fib integer array 
the size 20 we have assigned here and next line you can see FIB 0 and 1 because array will start by the 0 position by default it will start by 0, 0 position. So, FIB 0 uh, initialized by 0 and FIB 1 is initialized by 1. Now, we are we are uh, giving here for loop 2 to 20. So, uh, 2 variable already assigned now uh, rest 18 values 18 values we will calculate because this uh, Fibonacci series 0 to 19 Fibonacci series means 20 value of Fibonacci series we have to generate here. So, inside this for loop which is less than 20 because it is started by 2. So, uh, we have to calculate 18 values. So, FIB i equals to FIB i minus 1 plus FIB i minus 2. So, Fibonacci series when we have to calculate the Fibonacci number. So, the next Fibonacci number will be sum of uh, two previous numbers. Suppose we have started by 0 and 1. So, uh, the next Fibonacci number will be uh, 0 plus 1 means 1. And now, uh, now we have three values 0, 1 and 1 and uh, suppose we are calculating the fourth value then previous two value 1 and 1. So, it will be 2 again 1 plus 2 equals to 3, three uh, then again 2 plus 3 equals to 5. So, this way we will calculate the uh, Fibonacci series, Fibonacci series where uh, two previous number uh, will be added and then finally, we will calculate the next number. So, this process will uh, continue up to 20, i less than 20. So, 18 time it will be uh, the loop will uh, will uh, will, uh, will execute and all 18 value 0 and 1 position already in slide. So, different 18 value will be calculated. So, this i minus 1 and i minus 2, two previous value will be added and find find the new value f i b i. So, then b number. So, number it will be displayed over a screen. So, number this is bold, this is under uh, cat, uh, under the category of html. So, in bold phase we will display number and then f i b i. So, initially we have i 0. So, it will display 0, uh, but inside this for loop it will be it will start by 2. So, the first value which will be displayed here. So, this is 0 plus 1, 0 plus 1 f i b f i b i minus 1 plus f i b i minus 2 means 0 position plus uh, 1 position. So, 0 position is 0, 1 position is 1. So, 0 plus 1, 1 uh, will be displayed here equal sign and f i b i it will be display the value of uh, Fibonacci value. And then this uh, blue colored statement is a statement of JSP where we are displaying the value of uh, value of this uh, Fibonacci series and then line break and finally, uh, BR is a part of this HTML. So, uh, we will close it BR and slash BR uh, less than than BR then greater than sign. And uh, finally, we have to close this for loop by curly bracket. So, you can see here uh, the curly bracket closing curly bracket is encapsulated between uh, the percentage sign. Then center will close, body will close and HTML will close. So, this is the looping statement of the Java JSP program. Now, see one more program. This is for uh, calculating uh, factorial uh, computation program factorial computation dot JSP the name of the file. So, here again program will start by HTML then head portion title calculating the Fibonacci number sorry factorial number and title will be closed, head will be closed then body BG color will display over uh, the screen that is purple color and text is white. So, so the background and uh, foreground color both defined here then center uh, is here. Now, the statement of the JSP will start here. Uh, the first JSP statement this is percentage exclamation sign because we have to declare the variable. So, we have declared long number, number is a long type not float, it is not float, not integer, it is long. So, long number, uh, so this is array and long factorial this is again array, factorial array. Uh, so, be, because we have to calculate the factorial of uh, each value 1 to 20. So, we need two different separate array first array is the uh, array of number and second array is the array of factorial because we, uh, uh, for each number we will calculate the factorial and the value of that factorial will be stored on the fact long fact array. Uh, 
because maybe the value may be uh, very long so that's why we have defined here the factorial uh, array as a long type so we know the short integer integer and long so long uh, the size of long is higher than uh, integer so we have two more variable integer i comma j and then we have closed this because this, this is the declaration statement this is under blue color and now uh, the rest of the statement that is percentage statement we have started by the percentage sign uh, because these uh, statement are the processing statement so we have declared a number variable a number variable already declared which is blank uh, number array is declared but the uh, value of array is blank but here we are assigning the value of array means we are uh, declaring array numbers with 20 number numbers equals to new new uh, long 20 so 20 long values will be part of this number array uh, number array and uh, now again we have this factorial array factorial equals to fact equals to new new long 20 so again this is the 20 its size is again 20 because we have to store 20 long variable and number 0 and number 1 position initial position is initialized by the 1 and 1 uh, and then we are uh, running this for loop from 0 to 20 so the each each value each each array having the value uh, separately it will store the values so number i equals to number i equals to i suppose uh, number 0 equals to 0 number 1 equals to 1 number 2 equals to 2 number 3 equals to 3 so uh, 20 natural number will be stored this uh, uh, this number array uh, now uh, another for loop in this for loop you can see here uh, we have again the loop of 20 where each factorial each factorial initially assigned value 1 so initially we have one value so uh, initially it will be assigned by the value 1 all 20 uh, location will have the value 1 and now uh, in third for loop we are running this for loop up to 20 and inside each for loop each each loop each loop of this 20 uh, we will calculate the factorial so the uh, initially we have uh, initially we have this i equals to 0 so uh, the uh, factorial of 0 will be 0 suppose uh, next time it will be 1 uh, then a value of i is 1 and j will also be 1 uh, so if uh, j less than equal to 1 it means factorial will be uh, same 1 into 1 factorial 1 fact fact 1 into number 1 so both are 1 so 1 multiply 1 equals to 1 so the first location fact fact 1 equals to 1 now we will calculate fact 2 because this uh, i will be again next time i will be 2 and inside inside this uh, outer side loop will enter in inside inside 1 then j will start by 1 but i will be 2 so uh, so we will 1 1 multiply 2 it will be 1 multiply 2 because uh, the statement you can see here factorial 2 equals to factorial i into factorial into number j so the number j number j factorial i equals to i will be 1 factorial 1 will be 1 uh, but number number you can see here number j j will be next time 2 number j means 2 the value 2 so 2 multiply 1 factorial factorial uh, 2 equals to 2 so this way it will execute and uh, suppose we uh, we have third value so it will be 3 into 2 into 1 and suppose we have fourth value then it will be 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and uh, accordingly it will save the uh, factorial which we have calculated inside this fact and uh, finally the last for loop which will display the output uh, this for loop again uh, for loop of 20 uh, i equals to 0 i less than 20 i plus plus and uh, out by using this out dot printer and every time uh, when this loop will run uh, the print statement will execute out dot print factorial of i is factorial i means factorial of 1 equals to 1 factorial of 2 equals to 2 factorial of 3 equals to uh, uh, 6 uh, same way it will calculate accordingly and then the program will close by center will close body will close and html 
will close so this is this is the program of factorial uh, finally uh, you can uh, learn the learning outcome of this uh, lecture this lecture is very important for the uh, jsp programmer so the learning outcome of this lecture is to understand different jsp component tags and we can implement simple loop based jsp program loop based program in jsp so these are the learning outcome of this lecture after reading this lecture and finally in the next lecture we will discuss about uh, advanced jsp tag like jsp includes jsp jsp forward so we will discuss about these terms so thank you learner thank you very much